Here's a quick video on how to use the JFJ Easy Pro. I just bought one at a yard sale. I paid 20 bucks for it. Um, hold on, let me open it up. This one's kind of dirty inside. Uh, I think I got to put a pad on one of these sides to get the disc to clean. There's no pads on there. I'm going to use this Wii Sports game. It's really messed up. Can't see it too much. There you go. Uh, looks like somebody tried to do something to it. It's just like all a bunch of circles. So we're going to see if those come out. Uh, I picked up some extra pads it came with. That's my cat. It's got this uh, solution and a couple pads back there. So I'm going to see what I need to what I need to use. going to watch a video and then I'm going to show you how to do it. All right, so it came with this empty bottle, polishing compound number two, and I got to fill it up with this compound. Okay, so now my problem is I have a bunch of different pads and I'm not sure which one to use. I've got these black ones. I think this is called a sanding pad. I just looked it up and I didn't look these guys up yet, but I got these white ones and these other ones. These ones don't have a hole on one side. So I'm going to see which one I need to use. I think this is the top where I put the, the solution, but I'm not quite sure. Okay, so I take that back. The white part is the bottom and the top is the sanding pad. So it goes in like this, the top of the hole. I'm gonna put the game in there, screw it down. And I think just press the button, put some solution on here first and should be good to go. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I put a bunch of solution on there Got the disc screwed in. Uh, I think I'm gonna try it out. Close it up, I'm gonna turn it on. Got it plugged in. And we're gonna select two minutes and hope it doesn't blow up. Uh, it's not blowing up, so that's a good sign. Gonna let that run for two minutes and see if it looks any better. And if it blows up, I will update you. Well, it is starting to make a little bit of noise. Uh, it's gonna blow up. So it just finished, didn't blow up. Check out the disc. Screw it. Wipe it on my shirt real quick. So, looks a lot better than it did, I think. It's definitely still some swirls. But overall, a lot better for the way this disc was. Might do it one more time. But I got other discs here that aren't as bad. I'm gonna try out and see if they make them better. Like this Michael Jackson disc. Yeah, this one's all messed up. I'm gonna try this one and I'll show you how this one comes out. All right, so I got that one screwed in. I got some solution on the pad. I'm gonna do this one for two minutes and come back to you. Just finished. I can't use two hands. This just got a bunch of stains on it. Still has the stains. A lot better. Um, I might do another two minutes, see if that helps. I'll wipe it on my shirt. Yeah, let's do another two minutes. Let's see what this looks like now. So also this is advertised as a disc repair a scratch system, not a stain removing system. So I don't know why there's stains on the disc, but got them out pretty good. Still some remnants of them, but compared to what it started with, much cleaner disc. Still have to test it and see if it works, but 
not bad. Now this game here is really scratched up, so let's see if it does what it's supposed to do. This one is just scratches, GTA, San Andreas. Let's see what happens with this one. This one's really scratched up. I also don't know if I'm using the right compound. This one says use for one minute after sanding or one to two minutes without sanding. Recommended to be followed by polishing compound number one. This is the only one I got. So this is what I'm using. I guess I have to put it on every single time. I don't know. I paid 20 bucks for this machine. I don't care. All ready to go. Okay, so that one just finished. And that one was super scratched up. Look how much better it looks. I get these, this fading on this one side of the disc all the time. I don't know what I'm doing wrong there. Got to research that one, but let me wipe with my shirt, see if it gets better. Yeah, a little bit better. Um, still a little bit of scratches, but a lot better than it was. Still have to test it, but for a little $20 machine, I'm pretty happy with my investment. I think if I did this one again, it'd probably come out better. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, that's the end of this video. That's how you use a JFJ Easy Pro.